Hi, I'm Apurva Seth. About two weeks ago, I spoke about open interest. Now, open interest is one of the most important element uh, that traders should look at, but it is also one of the most ignored element in trading. And that's uh, one of the reason behind that is because open interest data is available for only 140 to 150 uh, contracts uh, or uh, uh, securities that are listed in the uh, futures and options market. But that does not mean that uh, traders should ignore it. Open interest data gives you uh, very good information about the quality of buying and selling that is happening in the markets. Now on that same video there was a comment that why don't I uh, also uh, share my views on the uh, open interest data of calls and puts in the option chain of NSE. So today's video is all about that. So now uh, let's check out the NSE's website. So here as you can see on the screen, uh, I'm on the NSE's website. Now uh, under the live market tab, you can go uh, and click on the equity derivatives uh, section in the option chain. Now by default, it will open the uh, data for the weekly contracts. Now, so the first thing that you must do is uh, click over here on the expiry date column and click the data for click the monthly expiry that is 25th June 2020. Once you click it, the data for uh, the options contract of 25th that are expiring on 25th June 2020 will uh, come up on your screen. Okay, so here we have the options uh, table for the contracts expiring on 25th June 2020. So now we, here you can see that the table is divided between calls and puts. Now uh, I'll briefly explain what calls and puts are. So uh, a call option gives the buyer of the contract an obligation to buy a security at a predetermined price and date. Uh, and the put contracts uh, gives the buyer of puts the right but not an obligation to sell the contract at a predetermined price and time. What this simply means is that uh, a buyer of a call option uh, would buy it if he has a bullish view on the security, on the underlying security. Whereas a, a buyer of a put option will buy the puts if he has a bearish view on the underlying security. Now uh, the options market is dominated by uh, institutional investors who normally prefer selling these uh, option contracts. Now, a simple reason behind this is that more than 90% of the options contract ever written or ever sold are uh, uh, expire worthless. So 90% of the options buyers, whether it is calls or puts, will eventually end up losing all of their money. And that's why institutional investors uh, being the smartest of the lot prefer selling the options contract. So when we are analyzing the data, the open interest data of options, we must always look at this data from the perspective of the seller instead of a buyer's perspective. So let's uh, scroll down and look at the data. Now, uh, as of now, the Nifty is uh, currently uh, placed at 9580 as on last Friday. So we must look at the strike price around this level. So 9600 and 9550, this is the strike price. The, the current market price lies between these two strike prices. Now uh, we must check uh, where is the highest uh, open interest built up in calls and puts. So as we scroll away, as we look at this, uh, sec this uh, particular line, you'll notice that the uh, 9000 strike put has the highest open interest of 24 lakh 67000 uh, uh, puts and uh, in the call side we have the highest open interest of 19 lakh 50000 at 10000 strike so uh, these two ranges uh, these two levels are the ones where the option writers or the professionals uh, expect that the markets won't go beyond this level. So 10,000 on the higher side could act as a resistance because most of the option selling has been uh, done at that contract and 
ऑप्शन बायर वुड मेक मनी ओनली इफ द मार्केट गो बियॉन्ड दिस लेवल सो इफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन सेलर हैज सोल्ड ऑप्शन और कॉल ऑप्शन एट दिस लेवल इट इंडिकेट दैट द इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर और द प्रोफेशनल इन्वेस्टर डज नॉट एक्सपेक्ट द मार्केट टू गो बियॉन्ड दिस लेवल वेर इज ऑन द डाउन साइड the 9000 strike put has the highest open interest this means that the this level could act as a support level for the markets and uh, the the smartest investor does not expect the markets to go below this level so now when we are uh, analyzing the options uh, data in this table it could require slightly more effort to figure out where the highest built up of uh, calls and puts are so an easier way out uh from this is to look at the charts now there are various websites uh, which uh, plot this option uh, change uh, in bar graph format now uh, i am i have one of this uh, website over here which is bloomberg quint now i'll share the link of this uh, website at this particular exact link uh, below the video so you can click on it and uh, check by check yourself uh, where what exactly Uh, is out here so here as you can see this is the options page of bloomberg quint this is absolutely free for uh, everyone so you can uh, access this page uh, now as you can see out here the table on your the chart on the uh, uh, right shows the open interest distribution of nifty nifty contracts uh, for uh, the monthly expiry which is uh, june uh, 25th june 2020 so as you can see out here the 9000 puts have the highest uh, open interest now uh, the data which uh, bloomberg shows is for uh, uh, lots uh, whereas on the nse's website it is in uh, actual units so it it is basically one and the same the data on the nse's website uh, so the option open interest data which you see uh, you can divide this by 75 and you would get the exact same uh, levels which you are seeing over here so it it makes uh, life easier for uh, traders you can simply uh, look at this one chart and get a sense of what the support and resistance uh, from the options uh, open interest data is uh, is could be so here 9000 strike put has the highest open interest whereas the 10000 strike call uh, also has the highest open interest on the call side Now, one interesting thing which uh, you can uh, observe from uh, this chart is that the 9500 strike call and puts also have uh, significantly huge uh, open interest now what does that mean well basically as i said that the market participants are not expecting the markets to go beyond uh, go below 9000 levels or go above the 10000 levels now uh, some uh, traders who have an appetite for risk uh, would uh, sell these two uh, contracts 9000 and 10000 and a few others who have uh, even who have even more uh, risk appetite would have uh, even gone ahead and sold the 9500 uh, strike call as well as puts and that's why we are seeing a uh, huge open interest built up at this uh, strike price now what does this mean this simply means that the some traders uh, are also not expecting the markets to go uh, much beyond the 9500 mark so either ways the markets can swing but uh, broadly it would uh, trade between uh, in the range of 9500 around the near 9500 mark so the option sellers Uh, are basically uh, aiming at uh, making a profit on the 9500 uh, strike calls as well as puts so by selling both these contracts they can make the premium the entire premium of uh, whatever these uh, contracts are priced at so uh, if you check out the nse's uh, website the 9500 strike uh, call and puts are uh, trading around 275 and 295 so that's roughly 570 rupees uh, that's what uh, traders might make uh, if the nifty uh, expires around the 9500 mark so from the options table it suggests it indicates that the nifty is likely to remain trapped in a range of uh, 9000 to 10 10000 uh, 
for the month of uh, June and the professional traders have uh, placed their bets accordingly. So you can expect a lot of uh, choppiness and volatility uh, over the next few uh, days to come around this level. So that's how you can uh, analyze uh, open interest data from the uh, options uh, chain that is available on uh, NSE and I also showed you uh, how to make your life simpler and easier by uh, looking at a, a simple chart instead of the whole table that's there. Uh, but you should also uh, you should use both the things in conjun conjunction with uh, all the other uh, technical tools and indicators that are available to make a better uh, estimate of the uh, market's uh, trend. So that's all from me for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And in case you did, then please uh, like it, share it with your family and friends and help them become better traders. You can uh, subscribe to our channel and even press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the interesting videos that we come up uh, regularly. And uh, Equity Master is also uh, there on Telegram where we share our uh, interesting insights on the markets on a day-to-day -day basis. So you can uh, join our Telegram uh, channel with the, our uh, Telegram handle is Equity Master Official. It's absolutely free and make the most of it. So that's all from me for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Also, don't forget to sign up to our free newsletter, The Fast Profits Daily. If you sign up to this newsletter right now, then you would get access to this free guide, How to Trade the Markets Like a Pro. So don't miss this chance and sign up right now.